Hello everyone! For years people were looking for a properly done video tutorial explaining everything that goes into creating OSA skins. And it's finally time to make that happen. The Skinship Discord community has formed a passionate team to deliver just that. My name is Ridu, and this is the skinning tutorial you have all been waiting for. Let's start with some explanations. What is an OSA skin and skinning? A skin is a folder filled to the brim with assets consisting of images, audio files, and a configuration file. It can completely change the look and feel of OS. Skinning, on the other hand, is the process of creating one yourself. To make it, you simply create an asset, name it what the game needs it to be named as, and put it in the aforementioned folder. Then, after a quick refresh, we should see it in the game. Nice. But that's not everything that makes a skin a skin. Skins are made of way more assets than the one we just put into the folder. It can be a long and daunting process for beginners to learn skinning by themselves, and that's why we are here. You are probably wondering what will the tutorials consist of? We will try to cover everything from the moment you decide to make a skin to the moment you share it with the world. As for the tutorials themselves, they will be made of in-depth skinning process guidance and explanations, helpful tips and tools, fixes for bugs you may encounter along the way, skinning assets you may want to use, terminology, design practices, although not many since we want to leave the creativity to you. You already know what a skin is, so now it's time to learn about the prerequisites of skinning. Let's start with the tools. As you are already aware, skins are made mostly of image files, so we are gonna need some image editing software. The choice lies with you, but we recommend using one of these popular options. You can choose Figma, which is a tool used primarily for UI design, is completely vector-based, meaning you are not working with actual pixels, but fully scalable shapes which allow you to render your work at any resolution you may want. Figma YouTube channel has plenty of great explanation videos. The basic plan is fully free and is sufficient for skinning, but it might be harder to pick up by beginners due to limitations. The other choice is Adobe Photoshop, which is the most flexible option which offers you unlimited creative freedom, is an industry standard when it comes to design work, has loads of free resources to learn from, but it is a paid program with a monthly subscription. You can use any other image editing software which supports transparency besides these two, but we will be using Photoshop with some Figma examples. While you were busy watching the introduction video, we have uploaded the next few episodes of the tutorial, so you don't need to wait. I wouldn't like to bore you with a long outro, so go watch the next episode. See you there!